What's up everyone? So iOS 12.1.1 has been out for about like two or three days at this point. And what I usually do, I just kind of go back in time and kind of look at it, see how it's been. And I'll be completely honest, I really haven't had any like super crazy bugs with iOS 12.1.1. What I will say is, is that maybe battery life has gone down a little bit and I will touch on that in a minute. So like I said, update's been pretty solid. Don't I don't really find any like crazy bugs or anything like that. Now, I feel like they actually fixed some bugs that I kind of addressed before and a lot of people addressed before. Uh, one of them is actually with getting a notification. So sometimes if I would get a phone call or a missed call or like a voicemail or if I just wouldn't pick up a phone call or something, sometimes the notification would actually just linger up top. So it's like a drop down and then it would just go back up. And that would happen to me like literally like five times a week. It was just so annoying because I would be doing something, I just missed the call, and then I would still be using my phone, and that little message indicator box thing would just stay there for like until I would dismiss it. So that was kind of annoying. Luckily, they did fix that. It might still happen later because on other updates, it would fix it temporarily and then it would just keep happening. So it looks like now it's fixed, but I don't know. Maybe it maybe it'll come back later. Now, another funny bug that's been happening and they actually just fixed it now is with the screen time, this little screen times widget. So if you guys don't know, ever since like the betas, every time you would use a screen time widget, the text in the background would just overlap with each other and it wouldn't like affect anything you'd still be able to use it just fine but it would just be like aesthetically it just wouldn't look good and if you like swipe back out and you swipe back in it would just like just not look good at all but now they actually fixed it so now like you're not going to have that text overlap at least i don't think so i've been testing it for like 10 minutes now and i still can't get it to do it so luckily they did fix it it would just refresh and the text would still be in the back so thankfully they fixed it that was one thing that's been there since the beta so finally they fixed that with ios 12.1.1 and another cool thing is actually within FaceTime, obviously this update brought the flip camera thing into the actual like panel so you don't have to keep clicking it every like 15 times just to flip the camera back and forth. And I'll be honest, I was so used to doing that that I'm not used to actually flipping the camera through just the indicator box again. So that's been one thing that I kind of have to get used to, but I actually love that feature so much. So shout out to Apple for doing that, dude. I, I love you guys. And I really hope you guys keep making improvements like that. Now this last thing I want to touch on is actually with the battery life. And I'll be honest, like I don't think it's been that good with iOS 12.1.1 yesterday, for example, and I'll show you right here. It seems like my battery life hasn't been too solid and I'll look for the last 10 days and you can see my usage does vary 100% but I noticed that yesterday especially my battery life just kind of drained out of nowhere and I guess this isn't really showing it that well but by the time it was like 6, 7 o'clock my battery life was already at like 30% or something like that. I was kind of surprised about that. I wasn't expecting it to be that low. Usually it's around like 40, 50% because I do charge my phone throughout the day sometimes. So I was surprised that it went down that low so fast. I just listened to Bluetooth music and stuff. So maybe it was just temporary drain. I don't know. This doesn't really do a good job at showing it, but you can see battery usage does go up. My activity, I guess, is kind of fluctuating a lot, but I would say I updated my phone at that time. And then so far battery usage, I guess, goes up and up. So I'm assuming battery usage means how much battery life you have left at the end of the day or something like that. And if that's the case, then yeah, definitely this this chart is accurate. And as you can see, my battery health is still at 99%. So it's not low at all, but I guess this is just temporary. Like I said, it will probably get fixed later on. So hopefully they do fix it. Battery life is one of those things where I noticed with iOS 12 that it's kind of a downgrade compared to iOS 11. I think iOS 12 brought a lot of bug fixes and things like that. But compared to iOS 11, I think 11's battery life was better than iOS 12. But that's pretty much it. Just a little recap of what iOS 12.1.1 brought, um, how my usage has been so far. Like I said, I haven't seen any crazy bugs. This is the iPhone 10, by the way. If you're coming from an iPhone 6S or an iPhone 8 or something, expect a little bit of different performance here and there, but you should still expect the same type of like no bugs or anything like that. I'm not saying bugs don't exist. They will probably happen. But in my case, from my usage, I don't really find anything crazy. So it has my AOK -okay of approval. You should definitely go update if you want to, unless you're waiting for a jailbreak, then stay where you're at. But that is pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that for iOS or just anything in general, let me know in the comment section below. Hit that like button. That don't mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber we get really does count. So it don't mean so much you guys could hit that. I'm still giving away two iPhones, guys. One December 28th and the other one earlier than that, December 14th. I don't know why I switch it like that. Click the first link in the description if you guys want to enter that giveaway. That don't mean so much. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.